Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're going to play Scenario 1 from Resist, the new game from Salt and Pepper Games where you get to take a group of Marquis and try to topple Franco in the Spanish Civil War. Now, I've never played Scenario 1 before, so I'm not super optimistic things are going to go well. It's called All Out Attack, so we have to go on the offensive. Let's jump in, get started, and see how things go. All right, so we're going to jump in and get started with All Out Offensive. If you're not familiar with how the game works or what the game is, I'll put a link to our game overview video, which shows a demo and explains a little bit of the rules and in depth how things work. We're going to just jump right in and play this one. Now, in the regular game, you have 10 missions that make up kind of your mission deck that your Marquis have to take on. And the game also comes with eight scenarios. And this is scenario one called All Out Offensive. And this one is every single mission in the game that's called Attack. And in order for us to win, we have to beat five of the six missions. And the regular loss conditions apply. If we fail two missions, we lose. If we get five civilian casualties over here, we lose. And also if we get five, if we get a hand of all spies, we lose as well. So those are our loss conditions that we need to keep in mind. Now we start with the, there's two missions in, there's two level one or era one missions that have attack in them. There's one uh, era two mission that has an attack in it. So attack Francoists in the valley, attack the commander's villa, attack the counter guerrilla headquarters are already started in the game. Then there are three era three missions that are in the game. We are going to shuffle these up and randomly pick one and then add that one as our fourth starting mission. Then take the other two era three missions and put those off to the side. So what did we get? We got attack the police station. Okay, and there are four enemies and I do have four up here. So that is correct. So now we've got our starting situation all set to go. Now, one of the things about these, these are hard missions, two points, three points, four points, five points, and the other era three missions are a lot of points too. So this is a these are tough missions that we have to take on. One of, there, there's two ways now you can start the game too. You can either draft your Maquis or you can just randomly assign them for the sake of jumping right in because for whatever reason I seem to play better when I just do random Maquis, which shows you how much I understand about the game. We're gonna just do random Maquis and play that way. So let's, so let's deal our first hand of five Maquis. <laughs> Not the best start here with the spy. There are three spies. Seriously? I, I didn't, these are randomly distributed. Okay, we have Adela, she's good. Ramona, and I've kind of rearranged this just so it fits on screen. And Soledad, two spies. Well, so, I mean, that does dictate that hopefully we can, if we can take out one mission now, we could potentially, we're gonna have two strong hands after this because we know we only have one spy left in there. So if we can take out perhaps the weakest mission here. So let's think a little bit about what we might want to do. Alrighty. Um, now, ideally, I'd like some kind of a skill here on these uh, Maquis that could reveal some of the enemies, but we don't have any of that. So we're going to have to go in pretty much blind to this one. And we don't have a lot of attack strength. We only have one, three, four potential attack strength here. These have a mission of five, and none of these Maquis allow us to bring cards into the hand except for Ramona if we reveal her. So I think our only move really here is to take the lowest point value one, which is attack the commander's villa and select that one and not do any actions during the plan phase. So we are going to select attack the commander's villa and hopefully, now we do have here we have uh, Soledad can discard all the counter guerrillas from this mission as can Adela. Adela can also use this one, move an enemy from this mission to a different mission. So if we get counter guerrillas and something extremely troublesome, we can potentially move one. We can also play Ramona to bring one of these recruit deck cards in too, which we would probably do because we still don't have five points. Let's see what we get. Grunt, a one point grunt. That's not too bad. You must defeat all grunts before you defeat other enemies. That's not a big deal. Oh, that's not good. Guard. You must defeat all guards before you defeat the mission. So we have to defeat the grunt, then the guard. So that's two more points, which means we need seven, which is not good. Uh, counter gorilla, okay, that's a civilian. Now this defeat card condition here also means when we defeat this one, we have to draw a card from the civilian deck and place it face up in the graveyard. But that wouldn't apply if we didn't defeat it. So, and a counter gorilla. Oof. 
Okay. So let's go into the attack phase. We really need to get rid of the... I think we're going to reveal a lot of people here because we only need to win five missions. And I think we might, with the two spies, I feel like losing our first mission would be pretty counterproductive. Let's see if Ramona can help us out here too. So we're going to play, first up, we're going to play Ramona in her revealed position, which means she's going to be removed from our hand. And she says, two points of attack, but draw a card from the re recruit deck and put it in your hand. Let's see, hopefully something good. Consuelo. Oh, Consuelo in revealed is pretty good here because her attack one is discard one enemy from this mission and gain the attack value equal to its defense value. Oh, I wish we had one that was worth four. Mm. But potentially then, okay, okay, I think we have a way to do this now. Let me just think for a second here. All righty, I think we have a plan of attack here. So, we're going to take Adela and keep her hidden. Right now we have an attack strength of two. We need five to beat the mission, but we have the grunt and the guard that we'd also have to beat. So we need seven to beat the mission as is. But if we take Adela, it says move an enemy from this mission to a different mission, we can take this grunt here and move him over to the attack Francoists in the valley. It's not ideal because we've got six enemies here, but this is only a value of six. We're going to have some strong hands coming up, so I think it's the best. I think it's our best option right now. We can play Consuelo in hidden form for two more points, which gives us two, three, four, five. Then we can play Soledad in revealed, which says disc is worth one and discard all counter gorillas from this mission. So we'll take this one out and discard them. So they are gone, and that gives us two, three, four, five, six. The attack's defense, the, the mission's defense is five. The guard is six, so we can wipe the guard out, and we can defeat this mission. And says, for each undefeated enemy at this mission, draw a card from the civilian deck, but we've defeated all the enemies too, which is good. So we have successfully cleared our first mission at the expense of two of these are uh, marquee here we revealed them now adela and consuelo will go in the discard pile I'll just put it off to the side here our two spies go in the discard pile as well which is good we get rid of those and now we draw in our new mission which we know is an era three mission and that's going to be five defensive cards oh these are tough missions but i'm, I'm i like i'm liking how we were able to burn through quite a bit of the two spies there. That's going to help us. So that brings us to the end of round one. We're victorious. We go to round two. So let's see our five cards here for round two. Emilio, Domingo, Nicholas, this is a strong Anastasio. They are out. And Ricardo. So we know that in our last hand, we're going to have one spy. So with five Maquis in this hand, we need to play a strong hand. We need to do some damage in this hand. So let's take a look and see what we might be able to do. So I think there's a lot of ways we could go with round two here. For example, we could we could try for this really hard eight-point mission. We could potentially wipe out a lot of enemies here and try for the 6.1. A lot of different plays, but I think we're going to try for this attack the police station, which is the 5.1 uh, era 3. It'd be nice to get rid of these one hard ones, and we do have to get rid of one, and we have five Maquis in play. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to play Domingo up as part of the planning stage. So we haven't selected our mission yet. And he says his special ability is flip one or two face down enemies at one mission face up and discard one of them. So let's get rid of that. And I'm hoping that we can generate enough offense from Nicholas or Ricardo to be able to take this one out. Jailer, draw a card from the recruit deck and place it in the hidden discard pile. Ooh, that's a nice one. Engineer is increase the defense value of all enemies other than the engineers in this mission by one. So we're going to get rid of the engineer. That's an easy choice. Although beating the jailer now makes it a little bit tricky because we now need eight plus three is 11. But getting the jailer would be good because we can get another recruit into our deck. 
So we might want to do that and burn up one of our marquees and revealed because if we do that, we'll reveal them and lose that marquee, but we could replace them with the one that the jailer gets us. So that's good. Okay, now the second thing we're gonna do then, so we have one attack point so far, we're gonna still, as part of the planning phase, we're gonna bring Emilio up, which is copy the hidden action on a hidden marquee in play. So we're gonna copy Domingo's uh, action here, which is the same thing, flip two enemies up and discard one of them. The phase on the action much match, and it does, because we're in the planning phase. Ooh, two points, radio upper, place a face down enemy on all other missions if they survive. That's a nasty card. Gosh, they're worth so many points. Three, look at that, eight, two, three, three, and three. Oh, these are nasty defenders here. Oh, boy. So now we want to take a second and think, because we're kind of committed to going for this one, but not necessarily, because this is still the planning phase. The question is, which one of these two do we want to discard? And we could con conceivably let the counter gorilla survive and take out the radio operator for two because we can ignore the counter delivery. We can, we can technically ignore the jailer too and just go for eight points. We don't have to beat those enemies. So let's ponder the, the, the play here. All right, I think I see our play here. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna go after the attack the police station. Now this one does have a bad defeat condition. It says, look at the top three cards of the hidden deck, put any spies back on top and discard the rest. So, if there's a spy in one of the top three, we keep it. We get rid of the other ones. We're going to ruin our next hand a little bit with this one. But all of these missions are hard, so I feel like we have to kind of bite the bullet. But before we do that, we have, our, we have the one that we can discard from this mission first here. Um, it's not going to matter, actually, uh, because of where the, the way that we're going to play. But we'll just, So we'll just discard the uh, counter gorilla here for right now because I have a plan in place. So now we actually go to the place where we select our mission because we're done with the planning phase. We're going to attack the police station. We're going to take that one. And it's time for us to move on the attack. Now... Unfortunately, we're going to kind of burn up some players here, but I think we have a way that we can work. So Anastasio is going to stay hidden, and he's going to attack, and it's discard one enemy from this mission. And that means we're going to discard the radio operator to get her out of the way. Now, uh, you'll notice now we only have one attack point in play. We need 8 and 11 attack points. Serious problem, right? So we need 10 attack points out of these last two cards. But... If we take Nicholas and play him revealed, he's a four-point attack phase, which is good. So that gives us one, and four is five now. Still not where we need to be. But we can play Ricardo in revealed, which is have the defense value of this mission rounded up. Ha-ha! <laughs> and he's worth two attack points. So four, five, six, seven for Domingo over here. We cut the mission from eight down to four, and the jailer is three, which is seven, which is exactly what we've got. Boom! So we have defeated the police station, and we'll have to figure all these things out. And we defeated the jailer, too, because it's only worth four. So we get rid of the defailer. Let's do that first. And now this one is draw a card from the recruit deck and place it in the di hidden discard pile. One of the things I want to check is whether we do the jailer first and then the mission defeat, because we have to re rearrange this deck with her. So I'm going to check that and I'll be right back. So kind of looking through the sequence of play and the instructions, I think what we do is we do the, we defeat the jailer first, then we defeat the mission. So the jailer says, draw a card from the recruit deck and place it in the hidden discard pile. Oh, it doesn't matter because it's going in the discard pile face up. We get Pilar. Ooh, which is nice. Ignore the effect on this mission that you choose this round. Pilar is, could be helpful here for some of these missions that are left. So we've defeated the jailer there. So that's good. And now we defeated the attack the police station, which is look at the top three cards of the hidden deck. Place any spies on top and discard the rest. Discarded. We're going to Marcelino. Carlos, discarded. And Juana, discarded. So we know we're going to get one of two spies in there. We're going to have to redraw through this deck. But we have added another Maquis in there. And that's good. So that takes care of those. That's okay. We've cleared this mission, which gives us two down and three to go. And we bring the last new mission out, which is going to be the last Era 3 mission. I think this is, um, yeah, Attack Franco's headquarters. This is a tough one here. Okay, so Ricardo and Nicholas are gone. We now are down to eight marquee originally, but we picked up one, so we're still at nine. Anastasio, Domingo, and Emilio are three hidden marquee. 
go into the discard deck, and it's time for round three. All right, so I've reshuffled the discard pile. We know we're gonna get one spy here, and we do. We get Roberto. Just look at the top three cards of the enemy deck. Discard any of them, put the rest back in any order. That does not help us at all because we're not picking out any other missions. So we have a spy. Now, hopefully we don't get a double spy. Emilio, okay, Emilio, I like Emilio. This copy the hidden action here. Carlos, draw two cards from the hidden deck in revealed form. That would be nice. And Domingo, excellent. So we only got one spy. That was as good as I think we could have hoped for in this situation. Now, let's think. This is good. We could conceivably, for example, use Domingo and then uh, Emilio to copy these again which would allow us to flip over all of these enemies here. Now, some of these um, Maquis have the skill where it is flip over all of the enemies at a particular mission. Those are really helpful. I, would, I think if we had drafted, I would have liked to have drafted one of those in there because I think one of the challenges we're faced with this mission right now is that we're going into a lot of these situations blind. We don't know what the enemies are going to be. All right, so it is thinking time now. For whatever reason, I'm leaning towards the attack the counter gorilla headquarters here because it's seven points and we can do the same thing again, which is to uh, flip one or two face down innings. We can use Domingo and Emilio to pair up again. It only gets us one attack point, but we have Roberto here over here, which is another four, which gives us five, six, seven, and it's a draw two cards. We'd have to play them in the plan deck. We can see what it looks like though. Now the dangerous thing here, yeah. I mean, that would reveal two. We're starting to run out of Maquis if we keep revealing our Maquis here. But if we could reveal two, I think we'd be, we might be okay. And in the planning phase, we could draw two cards from the hidden deck. So technically, Carlos could probably counteract any problems we have in offensive firepower. So let's try it. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is really the best way to go, but we're going to go for it. So Domingo in hidden, flip one or two face down enemies at one mission, face up, and then discard one of them. I feel like we're burning up our marquee too much. We're revealing too many of them here. Guard and Spy Master. Add a new spy to the hidden discard. You must defeat all guards before you defeat this mission. Ugh, I don't like either of those, but they're only one point. So we'd need eight then. We could get one, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can handle that. This is a discard. Oh, but we want to flip this guy over. So we get one, five, six, seven. Ugh. It's not quite enough, is it? We could ignore and take the spy on. You might defeat all guards before you defeat the mission. Do we want to take a spy? I'm going to think for a second. Actually, I'm not going to think for a second. We're going to, um, we're going to play Emilio and flip these other two over and see what we've got. Military. Shuffle all hidden Maquis in play. Remove one from the game. Oh, these are nasty cards. And this one here has a defeat condition for each undefeated. Uh, oh, wow. So that's not too many, though, right? Five for each. Oh, sorry. I, before I do this, this is kind of a, a broken thing. I had to discard, discard one of these. Uh, let's just discard the guard. I'm, I don't think it really matters. So I think we're going to have to pick up some of these anyway. So we will now play Emilio here which is copy that, and we can discard one of these. Let's assume we're going to try to knock these all out. Let's go for the counter gorilla. So that gives us two left. So we need nine, technically. We have to... Oh, this is tricky, because if we want to reveal Carlos, we have to do it in the planning stage before we pick this mission. Oh, and let's draw two cards from the hidden deck, which would give us a lot more firepower. And we could technically ignore those. Yeah, we'll... I think we're going to have to do that. We're going to play Carlos in Revealed as the planning phase. Just draw two cards from the hidden deck. So we bring them into play. Ooh, a spy. We need something other than a spy. Pilar. Ah, okay. Mm, tough decisions here. So Pilar is ignore the effect on this mission that you choose this round, which could be helpful, but I would like to save that for one of the other ones. Let's think. So the question we're faced with really is, do we want to play? We're going to have to play Roberto in Revealed to get his four attack points to beat the mission. That's clear because we have one, two, three. That would give us seven, which would wipe out the mission. The question is, do we play Pilar, which is zero, 
and hidden as part of this planning stage before we pick the mission and flip over two enemies at a different mission to get that effect. Cause it, the, but then we're going to leave the military in play, which is going to re, 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 remove one of these Maquis. And for each undefeated enemy in this mission, we're going to draw a card from the civilian deck and place it in the face up in the graveyard. Technically, theoretically, if we drew a really unlucky, lucky, it's less than a 10% chance we could lose with just picking two civilians. That messes us up a little bit. But I hate to reveal three Maquis in one hand, but we're going to do it. So we're going to still plan. We're going to ignore the effect and the mission on the, that you choose. That gets us done with the planning phase. We're now at five points. We are going to select this mission for seven points and then play Roberto Revealed. Burning up three Maquis. Oh, that's not good. I think we're going to run out of gas in the last missions. I just don't see how we can get them. But anyway, here we are. So one for Domingo, four for Roberto is five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. We've defeated everything. The um, mission, it didn't matter anyway. We, we kind of wasted her revealed effect because it's ignored the effect of the mission. But because we did defeat the mission and there were no undefeated enemies, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So that's kind of a waste. But we did beat it. And that brings us to the end of round three. Roberto, Pilar, and Carlos all gone. Two spies and Domingo go into the discard pile. And now we go to our fourth round. And we've only got three missions here, so I think we can spread these out a little bit now. Let's, so we can see all the cards. Maybe not all of them here, but let's... Let's do this one. I think we're going to go after one of these. These are the easier ones, right? The level two, the level three. Well, no, these are all level three. Level three, level three, and level one. The level one one theoretically should be easier. But let's see what happens here. See if I can squeeze these in a little bit. All right. So let's see what we get here. Juana. Ooh, this is nice. She must have been the one we pulled up. Choose a card from the revealed pile and place it on the top of the hidden deck. That could be helpful. We can recycle one of our guys here. Marcelino, Consuelo. Oh, right. I'm trying to think why we hadn't seen these, but we had three of them that didn't get into play because of that defeat effect on the last round. Anastasio. Okay. And this is probably, hopefully, be a spy, really. We kind of want a spy. Adela. No, it isn't. So we have five Maquis in play. That means this one that's left is the spy. Okay, this gets interesting now. So let's think for a second here. We need to be two more missions to win. We have yet to lose a mission. We've yet to pick up a civilian. And we have... Oof, the next round is going to be so weak. We're going to have three spies, potentially. And oh, we're running out of Maquis. But we only have to beat two more missions. Okay, let's see what we can do. Alrighty, we have a plan. We're going to try to go after this one eventually, but we're in the planning phase first. Here's our plan. We're going to plan for kind of two missions because we have to be two more. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Juana, we're going to use her in the plan phase, which is choose a card from the revealed pile and place it on top of the hidden deck. So that will come into play in our next hand because we know we're going to pick that one up. What we're going to take here is Pilar, which says to ignore the effect of this mission on this round that you choose because we're going to go after attack the mayor's house and it says all enemies from this mission gain plus one defense so that's going to reduce this by five which is our play for that so we're going to put pilar on top of the hidden deck and that's the planning phase there now we have a lot of attack power in here we can use adela if we have a lot of um, we can use adela if we have a lot of counter grillers which would be nice we can use Anastasio to reveal, which is discard one enemy this mission, which could be good. But we still have to save enough Maquis to get through one more mission. Marcelino's strong here, too, because it's plus one attack value for each other Maquis in play, which would be really strong because we could have potentially two, three, four, five, six. So we can get a lot of attack power because we're going to need a lot of attack power. We could get Consuelo to discard one enemy from this mission and gain its attack value and defense value, which is good, too. The question is, the only planning one we have is to draw one card from the hidden deck, but we're going to gamble on two rounds here. So we are going to stop the plan, and we're going to pick this one. Attack Francoists in the Valley. We're going to need six. Oh, this is crazy. We're not going to be able to get all these, are we? Well, we'll see. We have a ton of enemies here. Ooh, Spymaster with four. 
Just add a new spy to the hidden discard pile. Wow, we, we want low values here, to be honest here. Two, that's not good either. Shuffle all hidden marquee in play and remove one from the game. Oh, that's nasty. Grunt, you must defeat all grunts before you defeat all other enemies. So we need six, seven, eight, nine, because we got another grunt there. Defend is, oh, engineer is increase the defense value of all other enemies on this mission by one. Oh, this is nasty. And then counter gorilla, which is a four, draw a card from the civilian deck and place it face up. Now we can theoretically, we've got no civilians picked yet. So we know we can take at least one civilian hit. So we don't necessarily have to worry about this one. And we could play Adila hidden here, which is you move an enemy from this mission to a different mission to get rid of this pesky engineer. So now it's time to think and do a little bit of the, the math here to see what we can do to take out six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But we can ignore the enemies here, theoretically, because we don't we don't have any we so we we can ignore everything here and just take the impact and play six points, which is a thought. We could take the six points, take these hits, and then just and this defeat one here is draw one extra card from the hidden deck during the recovery phase. So we're going to have six cards in play next hand, which is good. So let's think for a second, because we don't necessarily have to take out any one of these Marquis, which may allow us to save quite a bit here. So let's think. All right, so we are going to select this one, and let's see if we do this one correctly here. We're going to take Adela, put her in play hidden to save her for the next mission, move an enemy from this mission to a different mission. So we're going to take this four-point Spy Master. We're going to dump it over here on Attack Franco's headquarters because we're not going to get Frank. We know we're going for this mission in the next round, and that's the last one we need to get. So that gives us three attack points. Okay. Now, <laughs> what do we do? Um, we, can, we can safely ignore these if we're willing to take a counter gorilla, which we can. And we can, so we could actually, and we can willing to take a marquee, that would be fine too. We would lose a marquee, which is okay, because that's basically the same as playing it revealed. Okay, so if we have, could, could we do this just with everybody hidden? Let's consider this. Yeah, I think, I think that's our play. I, I think we can do that. Oh, and actually, we can get rid of the military guy, and that's that removes this problem. So yeah, we're gonna play. Let's play. I think this will work. We play Anastasio as a zero, and it's his special discard one enemy from the mission. We'll get rid of the military guy. We'll just discard him, and we can do that because it's a discard, not an attack. So we can bypass the grunts there. So now we've got two, three points in play. If we play Consuelo hidden, that's four, five in play. And we play Marcelino six as hidden, and that's, but it's draw one card from the hidden deck, but that's as planning, so we just ignore that because this is the attack phase. That gives us two, three, four, five, six points, and we've saved four people for our next mission. All right, so the, this is defend phase. We, that didn't matter. That didn't matter. We're not attacking any of the enemies. We're going to take all of our six points and put them on the mission here. So the counter gorilla survived. So it's draw a card from the civilian deck and place it face up in the graveyard, hoping for a one or a zero, one civilian. Good. That means in the next round, we could theoretically take one civilian hit, take one card because the biggest one is a three. So we're good there. So we're going to, that takes care of that. These are defend ones. So that's good. And we're going to spend our six points to defeat attack Francoists in the valley. And that gives us our fourth mission. And Juana is gone. We revealed her. These four go back into the discard pile. And the benefit here of the defeat on attack Francoists in the valley is we draw one extra card from the hidden deck during the recovery phase. So we're going to get six cards in our next round. And we know we're going after this one. And we know that this top recruit here is one that negates the effect here. So theoretically, we need five points plus to wipe out whatever else we got there. But we can spend everything and reveal, reveal them all to get it because we only need to win one more hand. Let's deal our cards out here. First, I'll shuffle this up. 
So these were the two that were left. We know one's a spy and we know one is Pilar, which is to ignore the emission, emission effect on this one, which we're going to do because we've got five enemies. We want to reduce them by one for sure. Now we know we have one spy here and we pick four more cards thanks to the defeat factor there. Now we could theoretically end up with three spies. That would be rather cruel here. Hopefully we get one more spy and four Maquis. It all hangs really in this draw perhaps. Oh, Goodness, no, please, please. Anastasio, okay. Discard one enemy from this mission under the attack phase. That's going to be helpful. Okay. Don't be a spy. Domingo, look at the top three cards of the hidden deck. That's discard any place to rent any. Okay, that might help us. Flip one or two face down enemies and discard one of them, but he's an attack of three. That five, not the spy, please. Excellent, good. We get Marcelino. Oh, Marcelino is so strong here. I'm going to move the spies over because they're kind of just taking up space. Plus one attack value for each other Maquis in play. All right. Okay, so here we go. What do we do? Let's think for a second. Well, we, we know we're not going to mess around with attacking Franco's headquarters. We know we're going to go for this one because we can reduce the defense by one. So we get five enemies to deal with. We know we're gonna play Anastasio because both his effects are discarded when we're gonna play him revealed. We're gonna play everybody revealed where it's stronger. So we know we got two points here. We know we got Marcelino that's got two points plus one attack value for each other Maquis in play. So that's two, three, four, five. So two, three, four, five, six, six. We got seven points there. We know we're gonna play her that's eight, nine points. And we could potentially play Domingo, just flip one or two faces and, and discard one of them. Oh, what do we do? We have to decide that in the plan phase too. Oh, we could also plan with Marcelino. Now, I think Marcelino is going to be better in the attack phase. Oh, thinking. We know our first stage is going to be play Pilar in the planning stage to ignore the mission effect on this round because that's huge with that there. Be nice to be able to see some of these enemies, but I don't think we're going to be able to. The question, I think the big question here, we know we're going to play Anastasia attack and discard one enemy from the mission. So we can get rid of the worst one and we have four points of attack. The question is, we have a couple of plays here. We could play Domingo in Revealed under the planning stage right now or under the attack phase. So we could wait to see which is look at the top three cards of the hidden deck, discard any of them, put the rest back in any order, and then we could play, no, we can't. We'd have to play, we'd have to do that now during the planning phase because we could then play Marcelino to draw one card from the hidden deck knowing exactly which one it is, and it would be the strongest of the three because we could stack them up by playing Domingo right now. But we would give up Marcelino's two, three, four, five attack strength for only one attack strength but we could could we compensate that with the attack strength of the other one that we pick that's the question oh okay okay so here's our answer because this is part of the planning phase we can do this now so we're going to play domingo in revealed as part of the planning phase we're now up to five attack points which is theoretically enough to beat this mission but we still have to worry about the consequences of attacking the mayor's house these enemies here because we could get some guards that we have to defeat first so we need more points i'm feeling somewhat confident now we're going to look at the top three cards of the hidden deck because then we can decide about marcelino's play without with knowing which cards are in here so we're going to look at the top three cards of the hidden deck discarding any of them and putting the other back in any order so we know we're going to discard the spy let's get rid of that so we've got consuelo and we have emilio now discard one enemy from this mission and gain its attack value equal to its defense value that's a huge card if that's a problematic card but it's only a zero attack. What are the chances we have something really problematic up here? And we can discard our worst one. I, I feel like we should go with the attack strength, right? Because we have five right here. If we play Marcelino as attack, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, plus is 11, 12. We have 12 points of attack and we can discard one enemy. So I think for, we're going to just play, put Consuelo on top but we're not going to use Marcelino's planning phase to draw that one card because I don't think that's going to... Oh, that could be a lot, though. 
we're getting two, three, four, five. If we were to play Consuelo, it'd be four is the highest value it could get. Yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna play Marcelino this way. So we're gonna not take advantage of that. We're done now with the planning phase. We're going to the attack phase. We have to see what five enemies we get. It all hangs in the balance here. Three, counter gorilla. Okay, we can successfully ignore the counter gorilla because we can take one more civilian hit here. Counter gorilla, one, okay. That's two counter gorillas, that's not good, but it's only a one point counter gorilla. We could probably take that one out because we're gonna have enough points for that. Guard, you must defeat all other guards before you defeat the mission. So that means we need at least seven points now, but we're good so far. Spy master, add a new spy to the hidden discard part. We can successfully ignore that, right? Because we don't care about that. What do we got here? Spy master, three. So we don't, we don't care about those, right? Because adding a new spy to the hidden discard pile, this is the last round. So we can successfully kind of ignore them. Let's get them out of the way. Put those over here. Now we have to defeat the guard, but we got it, right? I think we've done it because we've got five revealed here. It's the attack phase now. We've negated the enemies plus one because we played Pilar here to ignore the mission effect. So we don't add the one defense there. So we need five and we've got five right here. We can play, it, it doesn't really matter, right? We got seven, discard one enemy from this mission. We could discard this one, but we should get rid of one counter gorilla, right? Because we, if we could, we would probably lose the game. If we, we could lose the game if we have two counter gorillas here before we defend the mission. So let's get rid of the three point counter gorilla get him out. So we're going to use that discard one enemy, but now we're up to seven. Then we play Marcelino revealed, which is so five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one attack value for each other Maquis in play. So it's three, four, five, seven. We're at nine, 10, 11, 12. We can wipe out. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'd leave one of those, but we can get rid of the guard, because we have to defeat that before we defeat the Christian. That's two. Counter Gorilla is three. Spy Master is four, five. And then we can attack the mayor's house, add a new spy to the discard pile, but that doesn't matter. Then we can go take the last five and attack the mayor's house. And I believe if we've done this all correctly, we've successfully defeated scenario one. That was fun. That's challenging. This is very different from the basic game because you're taking on, excuse me, some of the harder missions right from the start. We had a lot of unrevealed cards there too. Let me know what you think. This was certainly fun to play. First time to play this. I really like this one. You get right into the thick of the action really quickly. I feel like, yeah, gosh, that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, if you've enjoyed this uh, and you'd like to check out some of our other videos, we do have another David Thompson game. We're playing a series with By Stealth and C. Here's the first episode for that one. Otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.